Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got to tell you, <laughs> my bosses absolutely hate me. They hate me when I come to them for a sight unseen appraisal and ask them to trade for a vehicle that is a six figure retail cost. Uh, sight unseen appraisals, basically when I come to them and say, hey, listen, I've got a car that I need a value on, but you can't look at it and here's all the information that I've asked the customer. It happens all the time with me. It probably happens three or four or five times a day with me because I work all my deals typically over the phone. And when you come in here, you're buying a car. I just try not to keep people in here for hours on end. So I recently came to them and said, hey, I've got this 2019 Lexus LC500. To be honest with you, I've never even heard of the car. Didn't know anything about this car. Um, did a little bit of research, found a little bit of information on it. It's a $106,000 MSRP car. Woo, wow, absolutely beautiful. Look at this thing. Now we're gonna sell, it's got 1,800 miles. We're gonna sell it for 94,870. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful car. I have the printed off window sticker on it. I have the keys in my pocket. We're gonna show you a little cold start with this exhaust. Absolutely sounds amazing. It's got movable spoiler right here. And I don't know if you can see that paint. This is a tri-coat pearl essence paint. It's absolutely amazing. You're not gonna be able to see it in this light. It's real cloudy out today but absolutely beautiful car. Carbon fiber up here, carbon fiber on the interior. I'm gonna show you around this entire car, and if you want to buy it, I can ship this car anywhere around the world that you'd like to have it delivered to. So I'm gonna hop right onto the window sticker that I printed off because I just don't wanna forget anything. You have the 21 inch forged wheels, all weather package. It looks like it gives you the heated steering wheel, windshield wiper, de-icer, and PTC heater. I have no idea what PTC heater is. We have the convenience package, intuitive park assist, and blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, heads up display, limited slip differential, the Mark Levinson premium sound, performance package with Alcantara sport seats. Look at all that gets that eight-way power adjustable seat, carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber roof is amazing. And then you have all weather liners, cargo tray, trunk mat, cargo mat, wheel locks, and key. And right there's your original MSRP when it was new, 106,202. We'll hop right into the car. It's really awesome. Come up here and just do that. Mirror pops out for you. You have to reach underneath to open this door. And look at that red interior. Absolutely beautiful red interior. This is really close to the Morello red interior on the 2020 C8 Corvette. Absolutely beautiful interior alcantara all right here absolutely beautiful you guys know i love carbon fiber look at all this carbon fiber right here absolutely beautiful carbon fiber there i kind of showed you that carbon fiber earlier i'm gonna try to get back up here and show you that there's a much much better view on that carbon fiber roof beautiful beautiful carbon fiber it looks like it's all one piece. Doesn't look like there's any flaws in it. So somebody has taken some amazing time to lay this out, cut it correctly, and just, just absolutely beautiful carbon fiber up there. Amazing, love it. Let's hop in here. We'll start the car up and I'll show you everything on the inside of it as well. Okay, that is if I can put it in gear. Did I put it in gear? How to put it in gear. How do I put it in gear? I told you I didn't know anything about this car. Where's the vehicle must be in D to shift into manual mode. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Look, I had to do this over and down. That's what I had to do. I got it now. I got it. Smart car guy here. All right, see if I can put it back in park. Okay, we have it in park, don't wanna wreck it. All right, now that we've got this outside, we got a little sun, try to make this a little bit better for video. Absolutely beautiful leather steering wheel here, heads up display. 
I haven't played with that yet. It's really interesting that up here has like the snow weather mode up there. We have the driving system here, kind of used to the Corvette and the Camaro being down here. We have this touch pad. We're gonna come to that a little bit later. I don't wanna skip too much around here. Lights are all up in here. And driver information center there. That's really interesting. Gravity, rear, rear wing position. Oh, that's really cool. So you have the rear wing right here. And when we get up in there, we're gonna hit that. We'll move that up. There it's moving. That is cool. That is so awesome. So there's a light right here that tells you that it's up or down. Yeah, that's absolutely awesome. We're gonna put it down now. There it goes down and that's moving there. That is really cool. That's really, really cool. Oh wait, it came back up. How'd it come back up? Gotta hold it down the whole time. There we go. I put it up and down the other day or yesterday. Absolutely beautiful interior up here. This is really, really unique. You can see that trim right there, but also there's lights down here that light this up and it's really cool. It's gonna be tough to see during the daytime, but uh, that's really, really awesome right there. We have the uh, clock up here. You got the navigation screen up here, uh, all that good stuff right up here. You got all the, where the air is going to, the temperature control, the analog clock, absolutely beautiful interior so these are really interesting so these are really really teeny tiny like the c8 corvette is so that's pretty awesome you got collision alert uh notification you got lane departure warning right there so this is your lane keep assist so this is actually going to keep you in uh the lane we have lane departure warning or excuse me collision alert notification there we got different modes right here so that's going to take you through the radio xm radio am fm there all sorts of different things. So seek through your presets probably there. So two, three, yeah, so right there. And then over here, you got all your volume controls, your voice recognition, driver information center there. I was kind of, oh my gosh, no way. I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh, did it, oh, tell, please tell me it focused. This camera focusing on the, on the steering wheel. What, did, what button did I hit, this one? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I could just do this all day. Wow. You can see the mileage there, 1800 on the dot. Absolutely amazing. Let's go back here, let's stay focused. So you get the memory seats, you get all the power windows, the power locks, the mirrors, the auto in and out. You got blind spot indicator on the mirror there. We got the trunk, the heads up display, the fuel door, triple meter up here. Absolutely awesome stuff. So automatic transmission, uh, you got hold control right there, which is really cool. And I was just playing around with this because I wanted to do that off camera to understand how it works because I've never messed with this before. So it's really, really cool. So it all controls the menu up there. You can kind of see them hitting the menu button right there. So that's cool, hit the map button which is right there, I'm hitting that. So it brings up the map, but this, now this is really cool. So I'm moving my finger, just like what's moving there. And you can see that I just pushed this button. And it's, this is taptic too. So when I move it, so I'm gonna turn the heated steering wheel on. Heated seats on, oh, look at that, that's cool. So when I turn the heated seat on and off, passenger side, see the, how that moves? That's really cool. So coming over here, I can tell it to go to the navigation over there as well. We can move down to music. We can move down to trip information. We can move down to the seat and steering wheel information. So let's go back up here to trip. So yeah, so see, I got those arrows right there. So you can kind of move around a little bit. Let's go to music here. So yep, so just just so it's just gonna go through source. So if I wanna go to FM or AMS, FM, XM, series, all that. Map, let's see what the map does here. So I can move that, so I can have a compass up there, a map. Can I move that around? Traffic information, cool, that's cool. Just hit okay, we'll hit this right there. That brings it to the full screen. Really, really intuitive, very, very smart system, which is really cool. So let's go over here, so I can move this around so let's see if this goes to, now let's go back. How do I go back? Let me hit this for back. That's gonna be like north up and stuff like that. Speed limit, traffic, route trace. That's cool. 
I was seeing if it would have like Google Maps and stuff like that. Like Audi has Google Maps. Now we don't know to delete our destination. So I was just wondering to see if it had that. It doesn't look like it's got like Google Maps up there or anything. So you can see like a satellite view and whatnot. Really, really awesome volume control right there. So this is probably a lot there that I haven't messed with and don't know much about, but it's really cool. Uh, so that comes back there like so, really awesome. You got cup holder right there. The, de the glove box is really cool. We got the owner's manual in there and it looks like we have some type of trunk opener or cancel. So maybe like, so like valet mode or something to that effect. Really, really awesome up there. And then we have uh, auto dimming rear view mirror. It's a bezel-less mirror. And you got garage door opener right here. So that's really cool how that opens, pops up the uh, garage door when you push this. Boop, there's a garage door telling you that it's trying to open it up. So you got the SOS control up here, door lights, all Alcantara everywhere inside the car. It's tough to see since it's a black interior. I'll see if I can lighten this camera up a little bit. There we go, there's some light there. So that's uh, showing you all the Alcantara in the car. Alcantara all on the doors. The seats are absolutely beautiful. I love these seats. I love this red interior. I'm gonna go look at the window sticker and see exactly what it's called. It's absolutely beautiful though. Those are your all weather mats. I do know the carpeted mats are in the trunk. There's no issues with this car. It's absolutely a perfect car, 1800 miles. The customer, oh, it's Alcantara up there too. The customer traded it in for a Corvette. It's beautiful. So when I was playing around with this yesterday, once I got back from detail and service, I was looking for the trunk button. And of course, with GM vehicles, I'm popping up here and it's not there. It's right there. It's, it's kind of tough to see this button. See that button right there? Boop. And up it comes. So there's your carpeted floor mats in there. We got cargo net. I guess this is some type of license plate, front license plate. We got all weather mat, or not all weather mat, another carpeted floor mat in there. We got an all weather mat there. I knew we had an all weather mat in here. So uh, first aid kit over there. Let's go up and look at the beast that's under that hood. All right, let's take a look underneath this hood. Uh, this has got a 10-speed automatic transmission, 471 horsepower V8 engine. And like most cars, there's a bunch of plastic under here. Not much to see, but uh, definitely wanted to look at it. I hadn't looked at this yet. This is the first time that I'm popping this open. And, um, you know, just a typical import high-end luxury car. They cover everything with plastic to intimidate you because they don't want you to work on it. They want to work on it themselves. Um, really? Oh, what's this? Never seen that. That's really cute. That's really interesting. It's on both sides. I wonder what that is. It's not the shocks to keep it up because that's right there. I wonder if that's some type of, what is that? I've never seen that before. <laughs> Tell me down in the comment section below. It's really interesting. But uh, direct injection engine, I do believe. I hear that high pressure fuel rail system ticking away. Not really much up here to look at, but you know, 471 horsepower, 4,200 pound car. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna turn all the lights on so you can see all these lights. These daytime running lights that are right here. Oh, they're all on now, sweet. So the lights are sometimes hard to see, but uh, darken the camera up here a little bit. But these daytime running lamps right here, that is sweet, I love it. Look at those three projector beam lights there. You got these LED lights down here. You have those running lights over on the side. The grill of the Lexus, absolutely beautiful right there. That's just amazing work of art right there. Chrome underneath the car. These are those big 21 inch wheels wrapped in Bridgestone Potenzas. Beautiful right there. The mirrors right there. I wonder if this lights up right here. This might light up right there. Let's we'll see. Beautiful, beautiful car. There's one more quick walk around on it. All right, guys. So there is the 2019 Lexus LC 500. Absolutely amazing vehicle. 471 horsepower, 4,200 pound car. 
$106,000 MSRP, 94, 870 is what I'm selling it for. Uh, the week of the 14th, I'm in Los Angeles all week. Uh, I'll be able to be reached, but I just have limited availability. I'm going to a conference and then um, meeting up with uh, the Daily Driven Exotics folks, DDE, uh, Amelia uh, Hartford, meeting up with her during the week, doing some fun things out there. So hopefully I'll have some good content to bring you from out there. Maybe I won't, just depends on what's going on. Uh, definitely don't wanna be getting pulled over by police and getting tickets out there with the DDE boys, but uh, that's what they're known for. But uh, if there's anything I can do for you, um, purchase this car, let me know. Reach out to me at chevydude.com. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.